Hello guys, in the last video we covered how to add a dispatcher. In this video I would like to show you how to add a driver. So uh, as you can see our, uh, we our new company has no drivers um, and by default you have to add driver manually. Now if we go to the company settings you will see that there is a uh, there is an option which you can select uh, which will allow any driver to join your company from their um, driver application um, even though you will still have to approve these drivers as uh, your drivers uh, but if you select the next option then any driver can start uh, can join your company and start work right away without your approval so uh, just make sure that these options are uh, the ones you need and uh, select it correctly for for our company I will just remove all of them and uh, let's go to drivers tab and add our first driver so uh, as you can see there is a bunch of options we, are, we will go through all of them there's nothing uh, uh, difficult in here so uh, drivers email uh, again guys this should be a Google email or Google Apps uh, account email um, this is important because otherwise your drivers won't be able to connect uh, now uh, driver's name oh. and uh, some phone number license uh, car model um, whatever plate number max number of passengers make sure to enter this number correctly because there could be passengers who want a minibus and um, yeah and BMW is obviously not a minibus um, the car options um, these are the same car options that are uh, mm, that are visible and accessible in dispatcher and in passenger app so if our driver has for example a credit card machine air conditioning and uh, it's a big car so extra luggage space now if a passenger selects smoking allowed option then he won't be able to find this particular driver so make sure to enter, enter these options correctly um, so that a passenger can find actually your cab uh, all right let's just add this driver and as you can see our new driver is invited so uh, now um, a driver with this email address uh, will be able to connect to um, will be able to connect to your company through the driver application that's it guys and um, I just want to mention that when the driver actually connects then he becomes active um, the first time he connects and of course you can uh, when, when he will become active you will be able to set him as, uh, um, as suspended so uh, I, I hope I, I, can, I will be able to show you guys this in, um, in a driver application video so um, uh, see you guys in the next video